Hey guys, coming to you one last time here from Ecuador. I just wanted to say thank you so much to all my friends and family, all you guys that have supported me financially through all the prayers, through all the words of encouragement. Just thank you so much. This trip would not have been a reality without your support. Um, and I also wanted to take a little bit of time to just share a little bit about the process that God has brought me through during these five months here in Ecuador. So during my time here, the ministry I took part in was a bit more tailored to my specific skill set. I was on the production team, so on a weekly basis we created content, photo and video for the church plant that we have here in Quito as well as the organization as a whole. We created social media campaigns, we created video announcements, and also documented all the various outreaches we did on a weekly basis throughout the city of Quito. So this process began last year and really it all comes down to the scriptures in Matthew 14 when Jesus calls Peter out onto the waters and that just resonated with me so much that I felt like God was calling me to trust Him at a deeper level, to step out, to step out in faith and trust that He knew what was best for my life. Um, there was a lot of fear, there was a lot of reservation before I actually did make that jump to step away from my job, to step away from my art business and to go and serve on the mission field for eight months. I've traveled around the world a couple of times and it's just so cool to, to see how God's been faithful, how He's opened doors for me to, to serve in freelance capacities with different organizations, for my art business to still be flourishing while I'm abroad and overseas for people to, that want to take orders when I get back. And I'm excited for this new season and just to really launch my business, my art and my photo and video. And it's just so cool just to really see how faithful God has been when we do get out and trust Him even though the waters may look scary. But like, if we have our eyes focused on Him, um, there's nothing we can't do. So although the process doesn't always look how we expect it to look, it's just really cool how God just allows us to embrace the discomfort. There were a lot of ups and downs throughout this season, lots of frustrations, living in a house with 20 other people from all around the world, from different walks of life. We definitely got on each other's nerves, but it's just cool to see in those seasons that how God can, can use those situations to refine us, to, to work on our hearts, to work on our character, to create us and craft us into the person He's called us to be. Um, I really felt like God spoke to me that this season was a tithe, that I was setting this time apart to just sow into the kingdom, to just sow into people, and just to sow into this ministry. It, it definitely didn't look how I always wanted it to look, but it's just cool to know that God is faithful and He will reward me down the road. So to wrap it all up, guys, I just want to say thank you again from the bottom of my heart for just taking part in this journey with me, for, for really just believing in me to sow a seed into the kingdom. Um, I could not have done it without you. And I definitely felt all your prayers through this process. So thank you again. God bless you guys. And until next time.